step one is downloading Debian 11. We'll just do the net install. While that's downloading, make sure that in our virtual switch manager under Hyper-V, we have a bridge network that is connected to external and we have our network adapter selected. Let's go ahead and create a new VM. Second generation. Don't use dynamic memory. Choose the bridged adapter. 60 gigs is plenty. Install from a the downloaded file. Finish. Before we start this VM up, we're going to go ahead and adjust it slightly. Latest versions, the number of processors are selected as how many you actually have. Um, the older versions sometimes only give you a single processor. Definitely crank it up. So you can see on my computer, I've got 16 cores, so it's selected 16 cores. You know, if you got a bunch of cores, definitely give it uh, more than one. Tactical is definitely heavy use on CPU. Under your secure boot, go ahead and disable that. <coughs> Let's start up the machine. We're going to start a graphical install. Language, US. American, pick your language. Give your host name. Domain you can leave blank. Need a root password. This is setting up another secondary user. We don't ever go, we're not going to use this one. Time zones. Partition the disk, use everything, write it, changes to disk. We don't need to check the media. Choose our proxy for connecting for downloading extra packages. Don't need to join popularity contest. Don't check anything except SSH server. That's all we need. We're going to install the other four and then the installer script will take care of everything else. And reboot. From here, let's do a traditional install of Tactical. So, step one, let's log into Tactical as root. Going to run updates on the OS. Install the minimum requirements. also include sudo because sudo isn't on the system to begin with. Make sure everything is updated, which it should be. Alright, let's reboot. Let's log back in one last time. We're going to create the tactical user. Set its password. Next, we're going to add the user to sudo, or make the sudo group um, have passwordless login. So we need the sudo. I'm going to change the percent sudo, which is the group. Control X to exit, save modified, yes. Enter to write it to the file. And before we do uh, 
a lot another reboot we're actually going to get um, our IP address let's go ahead and set up our firewall Apply the firewall and fire it up. And let's exit out of this session. So from here on out, we're going to be using SSH client um, and we're going to do some additional DNS setting. At this point, we're not going to be using any more root login. It's all going to be tactical. Just for the purposes of this video, I'm going to go ahead and set up local um, names. So I'm only going to use uh, local IP addresses. If this was going to be a public server that you want accessible from lots of places, then you're going to use a public IP. Now that we have the DNS set up, we're going to go ahead and get logged in through our SSH client. So we're going to use MobX. Now that we have everything prepped, we can go ahead and log in and start the install of Tactical. Need to add the DNS record. Well, it needs to be there while you're doing the actual renewal. I know Cloudflare starts up pretty quick, but let's go ahead and double check it. Let's check to see if the record has been updated before we continue with the wizard. It looks like everything is good, so we can hit enter. Let's Encrypt is going to verify that DNS entry, and then it's going to generate a cert and then download it to your server automatically. Uh, you don't need to do any port forwarding because your server is reaching out to the Let's Encrypt servers and pulling that in. It's going to be valid for three months. Probably best that you um, do a renew about every two, two and a half, so that you don't get expired certs. Go ahead and create our username. Make sure you copy that barcode, scan it into your authenticator app.
make sure you copy down how to do uh, your Django admin. We can always get it later. Also, your Mesh Central username and password. Go ahead and rec um, record that. Because we're on a private subnet, we're not on a public IP, we're getting a warning about the hairpin NAT. But the way we set up DNS, that shouldn't matter. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and see if it loads. Magic. If this doesn't work for login, you need to make sure your time is right because this is TOTP, time-based, one-time password. And you're ready to party.